Chargers? Uh, been a good week so far, putting in some good work. And, uh, you know, we got a heck of a challenge coming in, you know, this weekend. And I uh, want to keep the ball rolling and put out a good performance. Where, um, what's been the sack of your team after y'all, you know, get in first place and, uh, uh, you know, start preparing for the Chargers to defend that? It's been good. It's been good to um, get a win last week and, uh, you know, Take, take our place in the division, but the mindset has been back to work, you know, knowing it's a long season still, more than half the season left to go and playing a game. So it's a lot of football left to play, and, um, but the guys are in a good, in a good mode, and um, we want to just keep building. Y'all just played them a couple of years ago. What are some of the issues they present with uh, Eckler and the passing attack? Yeah, you, you, yeah, you said it, man. Start off with Eckler, man. He's a heck of a back, you know, in the run game, pass game, you know, everything run through him. Uh, they got one of the, you know, better quarterbacks in the league, young talent. And Herbert back there slinging that ball, he can make every throw on the field. Um, good competitive offensive line, and um, you know they they um, they got a, they got a heck of a heck of a team, man. And on defensive side, they got some some playmakers, some stars out there too. So it's good. it's a good complete team. So we gotta um, come 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 ready, you know, and uh, make sure we got everything typed and execute. You only won three straight at home. How much of a kind of a benefit is that for you guys to play well in front of your home fans? Man, it's a credit to our fans, you know. Man, it's been. Um, I've played in Mercedes Benz, you know, every year since it's been built, and this year has been, you know, I mean, I have, I don't remember a year like this consistently, back to back with a fan showing out how they how they have, man. So it's definitely greatly appreciated, and um, just a heck of an experience to be able to play in front of them in the, in that stadium. So to to get them wins in there mean a lot, and um, to give them a good show that also means a lot as well. So um, you know, we couldn't we couldn't do it without our fans, man. We appreciate the support, and uh, you know, we want to take it to another level, you know, and make it a hard place to play. What are the keys to rushing a quarterback like Justin Herbert? Because Coach Pete's was talking about he's kind of slippery. He's tough to have. Yeah, it's definitely slippery. He get the ball out really quick. And then even when some guys do get to him sometimes, he's still, you know, he's long enough and strong enough to still get the ball off and got enough vision to still get it to somebody. So, um, you know, it's going to be take a group effort, you know, being disciplined on rush lanes because he is athletic enough to escape and step up. So definitely, definitely don't want to give any freebies up the middle. So, I mean, it's going to take it's going to take a heck of an effort, man. And um, so I'm, I'm excited for, you know, the challenge. But we, we got to be on, on our stuff. And a similar question with Eckler, just you know, bringing him back like him to the ground. He, he's so small, but he seems to be so shifty. What's yeah. the key to stop him? Yeah, shifty and strong. Strong dude, man. And, um, you know, it's just rallying to the ball, pursuit angles, because, like you say, he's just as shifty as he is fast. So, I mean, he's a complete back. He's been there for a long time for a reason. And then they believe in him, give him a lot of opportunities for a reason. So, it's going to take a heck of an effort from everybody. There's a lot of young guys along your defensive front, but we're nine games in now. How do you feel like they've uh, evolved and how do you feel like your front has grown over the course of the year? Yeah, um, I feel like their front has grown a lot. You know, a lot of young, like you said, a lot of young guys. But like with every, everything, I think experience helps. You know, and getting more comfortable, them coming into their own, learning, the, learn, learning the pro game, and um, knowing the adjustment that they need to make to make themselves better pros. I think I can see it transitioning from top to bottom. You know, and and up to myself. You know, when you when you play more, you feel better. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it's just been good for everybody. Y'all have played in a lot of one score games where things have come down to the end, and you guys have won. A lot of those. How is that experience going to help you guys moving forward? Kind of being able to perform in pressure pack situations. I think just knowing that it's going to take all day. You know, um, never relaxing, and uh, no matter how far you are down, how far you're up, you know you got to finish the game. You know, we've been on both sides of it to where we've been up, and um, team come back on us, and we've been down, and we come back on the team, and um, so I mean, we just know it's going to take all day. You know, so it's it's, it's a it's a you know, it's kind of like a parallel where it's like, you know, you're excited to start fast, but you know, you got to keep going. But if you're down, you know, it ain't over till it's over. So, I mean, it go hand to hand, but at the end of the thing, the biggest lesson is finishing.